okay like thank you thank you everyone who reminded me that I knew what I was talking about sometimes and they were there for me that it was going to probably be okay or that it would turn out okay anyhow there were some amazing challenges we got brand new team members from all of this not to mention having a great team to begin with who are passionate dedicated badass um, there's so many unexpected surprises too, um, like a really cool donation of a wizard tower, which I don't even think is gone yet. You guys know that there's still a wizard tower out there to be had? Someone should get that. Um, but otherwise, you guys are all a troop of miracle workers, um, and I'm so impressed. Thank you so much for all of your hard work and all the shares and and the amazing underdog story that you guys created because... It didn't go over like four or five hundred till this week. <laughs> so that was pretty amazing. Very impressed. Good job, you guys. Um, this Speaking of the best, uh, this was one of the best experiments ever because it allowed me to see what would work, what wasn't quite working yet, what needed some work to be launched even, and, you know, what gets people excited. I'm really excited that you guys actually surprisingly liked the notebook so much. I thought that was just going to be something from mostly me and someone had bought it. But yeah, that seems like it's taking really good traction. And I just love the fact that you guys have been taking to the concept so well. And you're starting to finally maybe understand me a little bit. I swear to God, it'll get more clear in time when I get the right tools and resources and people on the team. Because right now it's, it's mostly me. Um, however, we do have a lot of amazing humans who have been dedicating their part times to this and it's been essential for it to go. Um, this is the last day of the fundraiser. It's actually funded though, so ta -da! we're done technically. I'm almost okay if it sits at the 42 backers because 42 of you guys are amazing. Um, and it finishes at 4.20 in the AM, so I don't know if anyone's really going to be up with me for this, but it is... The full moon Samhain and the fundraiser started on a new moon and I actually didn't plan for that. <laughs> so super lucky, super fantastic. Um, and some updates like the moon charm membership. So if you want, this is only available for the fundraiser. Otherwise you have to wait a whole year before you start getting charms, um, charmed, if you will. Um, but what it gives you is a discount. So each of the Patreon tiers, which I'll kind of mention later, have different charms associated and different uh, discounts associated with each charm. So the moon one is the highest percentage off. It is 10% off. So that's exciting. Um, you get to pick your number and pick your design as long as the number is still available. And in the name of the moon, you get to at least jump ahead in line. You don't get always in the front, depending on who might have it um, by a priority in front of you. Um, Artemis's affirmation book somehow launched. Artemis was actually doing way better than me in the fundraiser for a while. Just like his Instagram, which has double the followers. I said his name and he's on his way. <laughs> um, but he had a whole bunch of people... Uh, supporting his affirmations so much so that uh, we even had somebody who didn't know me or the cat donate and I was so both surprised and delighted I wanted to find out more about them turns out they're pretty much just like all of us fantastic human beings who are working hard to try to figure themselves out even though it's always difficult and this person's birthday was coming up so we launched the book idea and it will be with the patreon membership Anyone who has the month-long membership gets a page in the book and gets a say in the voting and how that kind of stuff works. So that could be cool. Uh, the book will be launching at the end of November, so it'll make an excellent Christmas gift. Um, other cool gifts ideas are our notebooks, uh, stickers, decals, oh my, that kind of stuff. Uh, custom clothing. You can even do tarot card readings for yourself or someone else. There's even like uh, a logo design still out there and wizard dice tower, right Temis? He knows, Temis is here as well. He's here to discuss what went on. Temis is very proud and very happy with how everything went. Um, he got a lot of treats when we were doing the Artemis' affirmations. 
to see if I could lure him over. He's actually a great photography cat. So thank the Lord for this cat because he's been doing fantastic. And um, I don't know if everyone knows this, but um, we went to go see the vet a, was last January and uh, his kidneys were high in the, like around 220, 222. And the last time we visited, he actually brought it down to 190. So that's good. Because Artemis' affirmations book is kind of preemptive because he's getting old and I don't know what I'm going to do without him. So, you know, sharing the love that he currently has is always a great way to retain it for future generations. Okay. Um, so, if after that you still want to hang out with me more and work on new projects and things like that, um, there's going to be a lot of emails going out to verify things like uh, if you have clothes, what exactly you want on them and say things like Artemis' affirmations, what you want on your page. Um, also, you have an opportunity to follow me over to Patreon. There's a couple of different membership options and everyone um, who has either the $42 Moon Charm, Artemis' affirmation or tarot gets one month free of those tiers. Um, that also includes anyone who bought the episode, you guys get a free tier as well as anyone who brought uh, the weekly mentorship you guys also go into the D20 project here so that we can work together and it will open up a discord and we'll make it a group area so we can kind of work together because you guys are all kind of working together through me and it might be easier if you guys started to talk to each other because some of you guys are going to be like best friends and we might as well just get that over with because um, friends are cool. So uh, if you want to stay with Facebook, Artemis the Sailor Moon Cat has his own and I have one that's going, but if you want to stay with the business page, it's Miss Miona New Moon on Instagram. It's Miss Miona for him on Instagram again, Artemis Sailor Moon Cat. And then we're going over to Patreon, so you can find us on Patreon under Miss Miona. Uh, our website is up. It's so cool. It went up today. It went up at like 8 p.m. Mike chugged through that website so quick and so well and with such efficiency. So that's another cool thing is we're going to keep bringing people into the team and I'd love to keep showing their skills off so we can also maybe if someone else needs a website designed, now we know who to go to because obviously he's really good at it and he was updating it faster than I could refresh it and I feel like my button pushing game is pretty good. I'm used to a lot of depression sometimes. Um, Email list. You can also join the email list if any of the other options aren't quite cool. Again, we are opening up a Discord. I will be doing Twitch live streams again. I have no excuses now. So it will be every second week, I believe. We'll also be launching our podcast. So Armistice Affirmations book comes out end of November. Podcast comes out mid-ish December. We're still looking for segments. We might be doing things like Chuck Tingle erotic novel reading, as well as children's readings, which will be marked appropriately. There's going to be, again, more challenges, more rolling the D20 and doing as it says, uh, more interviewing locals and working with people and finding out what they love to do and harnessing that to work on a project together and maybe build it with others. We have tons of cool things coming up, um, including an artist series, and maybe like a Northern Ontario artist series looking at getting some artists together and doing patterns. We actually have a few buyers for fabrics already, but the fabrics don't quite exist yet. So what I'd love to do is find some more artists and like do it as a run, do it together. Cause it might be more fun and we can work together to figure out these designs and, you know, empower each other. It's usually a good way to do it. Um, what else do we do? I don't know see what that one is. I don't know what that one says. So super special thank yous. Um, I'm going to say straight up, um, Heather, um, we're going to call her the chief financial officer soon enough, I believe, because she's going to be probably one of our first hires and why this was a really good idea, just because we want to be able to grow and to hire people. And for me not to be doing it all by myself, because I'm sure the quality is going to improve and I'm sure people are going to be able to keep me a little bit online. 
and maybe teach me things and teach you things and offer really cool challenges. So it won't always be me up here and I'm really, really excited to bring other people on so that they can show their skills, talents, what services they provide and just have fun. Uh, I wanted to thank Lee. Lee is the beautiful mind behind the watercolor moon phase series, which you'll find in the moon phase charm and within the logo as well as on aprons, as well as on stickers and notebooks. Um, and she has been a major supporter of me since high school, since I first started deciding on lofty projects on my own and not actually feasibly being able to do them on my own and having someone kind of come in to support. So she's been a great, beautiful friend for a long time and I'm glad that she was one of the inspirations for this as well as Jenny will be working, oh, actually, before I go there, Lee, because she helped with the logo, we're gonna be working on a logo for her. So I might actually be able to work on that a little bit later today, but I cannot wait to show that because she deserves something as beautiful and distinguished and poised and elegant as she is. Um, and I can't wait to see if I can appease her with uh, something that can be representative of both her and her artwork. Uh, we're also working with Jenny. She is another fantastic artist with as well as many things um, But we will be working on the artist series and maybe some prints But I'm not going to get into too many details because I don't think she would like me to divulge the information I also want to give a super special thanks to Russell. You'll probably be hearing his voice a lot um, If all goes well uh, with the both the podcast and hopefully with the twitch live stream so again twitch la la land live uh, twitch.tv slash la la land live i'm gonna write this all out with links organized offer on the website just so people understand um as well as anyone who was a backer you will be getting a distinct email just to make sure i clarify everything and we're both excited on the same page like because there's so many different projects that are have already popped up just from the people who have donated and because of that, um, I wanted to offer a couple more bonuses too. Um, another two people for the thanks. Uh, I would love to thank Mike, who, again, just power lifted through that website today. It was inspiring to see it keep changing while my anxiety was rising and then my excitement was rising. So, um, and talking me along the way too. So again, anyone who helps me through my anxiety or through anyone else's anxiety. They're just such assets. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please keep being happy. Please keep reassuring people that we can keep breathing and we'll be all right. Great job. Um, I'll even thank Miles because he was the first one to buy one of the moon charms. And again, that gets you 10% off and lifetime membership for anything that Neona does. Um, and it also allows you, in the name of the moon, a couple steps ahead of the line. So it could be really fortunate if you're booking, scheduling, things like that, um, or when there might be events in the future, things to consider. Uh, otherwise, if you don't get it through the fundraiser, they are only offered after a year for the discount. So things to think about. Um, so again, we're going to have more regularity with the episodes. I'm going to try to do it every second week. We're going to have a our Discord up. And the book launch is scheduled for the end of November, so that it'll be a good Christmas gift. And we'll have the Northern Ontario Fabric Series, as well as lots of problem solving, magic, music, more, weirdness forever, Temis, his beans. But yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, if you wanted to see what the moon charms are, like, I'm going to actually do this on camera. That's why I was holding it. Because I think I didn't actually shake it too much. Um, I actually have an example. They're going to be cleaned up. And each of the moon charms will actually be changed up depending on if they need to want to be a necklace. If it wants to be just a charm. Maybe it could be a magnet. It could be a keychain. Tons of different options. We'll figure it out as we go. Um, again, anyone who wants custom clothes, those are still an option too. And... I just want to say, like, thank you guys so much for joining, for helping, for supporting, for being here. And I can't wait to show you what's next. 
without hopefully breaking something. It went all the way down the stairs. Well, happy lunar new year of my heart at least. And thank you so much for joining me on this adventure and helping make this epic underdog story. And like full moon miracle on like Sam Hain. So we have a couple hours left. If you want to share, feel free to. Again, thanks so much. And um, cheers. Have a good night. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.